Okay. Oh, it does look like all. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> right? Hey, Lum, you have BPM's uh, controls. What? In the final. Approaching. The race so he see who dies first. It's looking, it's looking like Plum's, Plum's got this suicide in the bag. <laughs> yeah. I just want to make sure I remember to grab the controller. Right, right. Alright. Wishing them. <laughs> Alright, game number one for real this time. I'm a little lost here for a second. Got the hydrant set up. Finds a grab, gets the up air conversion. Or just the combo, I guess. <laughs> Able to block the Galaga, but gets hit uh, for going for the up on it. You have to take damage. Just gets the lingering part of the grab there. Force uses limit to recover the Galaga to get him back on stage. Fell. That was crazy. Also, Lum finally striking back. Finds another cross slash. Seeing that hydrant on over to him, got the Galaga and ready. Got limit ready now. Oh, it doesn't go for the up smash there. It goes for the F smash instead and <laughs> goes for a little bit cross smash just off to the side. Every, both players are just whiffing out here. Oh, finds the apple for the KO. That's a portion of that combo. Gets him off stage. Finds the back air. Limit about halfway. How do you get off ledge? Just jump right on over. <laughs> Doesn't have the hydrant this time. It didn't quite bounce up high enough to catch his shield. The tomahawk limit cross slash, but catching the up smash from the aggression from the forward air after blocking that gets one of the, the uh, first or his first stock to catch him back up in this game. A little the SDI out of that. <laughs> the water getting shot at the awkward angle. Finds that up there. Gets down to the ground safely and gets a cross slash out. Shooting out for that hydrant. Finds the down air but doesn't complete it. And uh, hydrant, oddly enough, seems like it got knocked away by Pac Man instead, but went the other direction completely. Bell is charged. Just back throw to get him off stage. Gets the hydrant set up. Throws the bell. Finds another grab. It's for the melon. Lum catches the melon. Lifts that up. Oh, but finds the back throw there. I'm using that cross slash to counter that ledge get up option with the Galaga. He will punish that forward air with his own. Yeah, well, I don't 
I'm just in awe, I'm just watching. Catches the, <laughs> catches the bell. Well, with a one stock lead, or well, at least he had one, uh, back in players now, back to one stock apiece. I, um, I'm not gonna give my opinion because I am usually wrong. <laughs> But I think Pac-Man's considered better. I think. I'm not sure. This isn't my opinion, but it's my assumption as to what other people think. Is it close? I don't know. You can put Pac-Man up there. Cloud wins this matchup. Take seven. I know everyone's tier list is subjective. Yeah. Oh, jumps and catches the bell. Just opposite to throw it down. Goes for the cross slash. Oh. Pac-Man player with the best percentage in the game. Just for the down throw. The magic percentage gets him. That first game. <laughs> Put the down throw and bell that ledge to get him the neutral get up. Didn't quite catch the bell that time on the way up. Alright, starts off with an uppy. I get up attack gets him away, but got a SDI out of it. I drift on the ground. I need that Galaga up and going. Let's see how Lum approaches this Pac-Man to prevent him from charging, but now it looks like um, Pac-Man player. Can I just call him PNP? Yeah. <laughs> Pac-Man player, PNP. Got the hydrant limits of on deck. Nice parry from PMP. I feel like Cloud thrives on small bat. Oh, that one. He does a good job at sharking platforms. Mm -hmm. And then his ability to be able to land on the platform with his up being gets him out of situations a little bit faster than what they normally would. Limits available. Oh, could have caught, caught the stage bounce there, but instead catches the uh, get up option from. Um, Pac-Man. <laughs> I'm I don't know, lost for it. Well, I'm so easy to say, and then Pac-Man player. <laughs> so long. Just kind of planking at the edge here with the bonus fruit. Looking for a jab lock there, but not finding it, but instead gets the down air. Able to hold his jump. And unfortunate SD there. Bounced off the stage. His real tag is just Isaiah. I'll try to remember that. So I, I like how most Pac-Mans have the knowledge that like, if they stand at a specific distance to their Hydrant, their Hydrant won't hit them whenever the other player um, hits it, because it always bounces up a little bit. It doesn't go straight horizontal. Doesn't catch the bell there, but gets away from it at least. I'm looking to close this out. Looks for the uh, trump to the back air there. But instead finds the roll get up option to get him the cross slash for a three stock on game number two to bring this back to 1-1. One, one. Like, yeah. I don't know where the icon is. Here. Dude, that, that was so stupid. How did that not grab legs? Yeah, I don't know why you were higher up. Alright, going into game number three, back to Pokemon Stadium. I see them immediately approaching Pac um, Isaiah. They pop the hog up, gets blocked. Galaga's going out. A lot of damage coming here. 41, 51, 59, 65. Almost going for the stock here with the down air. 
great conversion in strings there from <laughs> Isaiah, just off of the Galaga by itself and 88% to work with. Has the bell charged up now. Limits available though. Well, I'm trying to find his way back into this. Oh, B reverses the blade beam. Gets the bell with the back air. Finds the down air. Likely to take the stock and it does. He's gonna get... It's the Galga out. Using the cross, the uh, climb master to get out of there. This is a total turnaround from the previous game. Forced to use his climb hazard there. We'll try and get him at the edge. The Hydra disappears, actually. That's Forwarder, does get the tech chase, but catches the back there on that jump. Charges up the bell, jumps up and catches it. Finds an up air. Wasn't quite quick enough to get a back air off of it, but almost finds the stock there. When the cross shots used just right in that space. To find that down air, gets him off stage. To push the Hydra in his way, just barely gets away from it. Catches the bell regardless. Uses the uh, cross slash there to try and stall his fall, but gets caught out by the down air. Catches that up smash once again on the aggression from the forward air. <coughs> Getting the star KO too there it helps him out because he's able to charge limit a bit longer than normal. Has it available now? It's knocked out of him. Nice to turn around, cross slash. Gets the apple into the up air. Good conversion there. Looks to try and cross up with the uh, climb hazard there, but just enough distance from Isaiah to keep him safe. Z drops the uh, bell. Jumping over the orange. How are we going to use this limit? Key instead is thrown just straight through. Limit no longer available. The old forward air gets him off stage. Down throws the bell and gets the timing on the forward smash there to get the pop up when it released him from hit stun. The character knowledge from Isaiah there was demonstrated very well. Oh, I did the wrong scores. Alright, game number four to small battlefield. What happened, aside from an SD on game number two, that made Wum pull through? Because you gotta bring back from that game. What does Isaiah learn from that game that made him pull through that previous one? I'm keeping him off of him. Gets that cross slash. Goes for the shield poke. Able to roll on past. Galaga's out. A lot of damage here. Potentially, but doesn't happen. Oh, it gets hit by the Galaga a second time and forced to use the limit cross uh limit climb hazard there to recover. Batman's down air actually cancelling out the um, lane beam, oddly enough. Catching the bell. Parried. Both players really just hit that Hydra for what they want. <laughs> finds the roll in with the back air limit. Just about there, finds it. Blade Beam to get him off the side. Doesn't have enough power to get the stock just yet. It's the back air and once again gets the cross up catch with the up smash. Yep. 
Lightbeam clangs with the bell there, but Isaiah just kind of being in the right spot for it to work. Goes for the double forward air, but gets beaten out. We get thrown off stage here. Got the bell. Unfortunate there. Did not get the catch with the um, climb hazard there and lost his stock to the up smash. He's being careful to not get hit by this Galaga combo. It takes 24 for it though. Not as bad as what it could have been. Where's that back air after the Hydra drop? Right over his head. He just he's just so aware that that Hydra is just not gonna hit him right there. Oh, it goes for the cross slash, but doesn't quite get the connection on it. Oh. Get him off stage. Bells in hand. Grabbing the bell, gets it up. Well, I'm looking to try and grab it. Avoids the grab, jumps right on over him, but the down air puts him right back to where he was. Not able to catch the bell that time and gets hit by it, followed by a backer to take that stock. A lot of damage there from the Galaga into the up, throw, up air. And for the climb hazard up there against the bell. Tash grab. Goes for a side B. Just wake up. Just wake up. Limit cross slash. Just ought to take that stock for going for that. A little uh, interesting choice to see. Okay, puts the hydrogen all the way back on over to him. Has the limit. Let's the blade beam loose, but it just flies a little too low. Bells in hand. <laughs> oh no, shield's getting really low. Tries to pick it up with a nair. Not able to spot dodge Pac-Man's Pac grab as it persists for a little bit. Gets through that bell, gets the uh, climb hazard, get him out of there. <laughs> Carries his own Hydra. Climb Hazard just being used there. He's dashing around with the bell and finds the connection for it for the back air and for the set. Isaiah, you're staying. Oh wait, no, no, no. Empty and Buddha Bam. Never mind. I'm wrong.